All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy JD. I hope you've all had a great day. I hope you've all had a great weekend. In this episode, I tell you now, I actually think every single topic we're going to be speaking about kind of deserves its own video. That's how crazy, that's how insane they all are. I might even re-upload one or two of the topics we speak about on the channel either today or tomorrow. Who knows, but what I do know is you need to buckle up because firstly, we're going to be speaking about a trans influencer who is claiming that apparently if women aren't happy with trans women going into their restrooms, they need to find somewhere else to go. Yeah. Secondly, Just Stop Oil protesters are causing a load of controversy. Once again, that lovely, fantastic group. And this time in a viral video, I'm going to be showing you a group of them stop a mother taking their baby to the hospital for what? Yeah, exactly. And lastly, Jason Aldean refuses to be cancelled by leftist liberals progressives because of his new song that is causing a load of controversy. Try that in a small town. And he addresses all the backlash at a recent show where the crowds start chanting, USA. Yeah, it's going to be a jam-packed episode, but before we carry on any further, if you could, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Share this video, but without a further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. So the other day, I came across this absolutely bizarre video on my Twitter timeline. I'm sure a load of you can relate to that of this trans influencer who goes by the name of Kelly Cadigan. I believe their name is where essentially they were telling people, women, hey, look, if you aren't happy with trans women, men coming into your restrooms, well, it's you that needs to find somewhere else to go. You're in the wrong and you must accept it. Otherwise, find another restroom. Sounds very inclusive, doesn't it? But to announce this groundbreaking statement they sent out the following tweet and attached a video to it dear terse yep that's how they label all women who speak out against this either be okay with trans women in the restrooms or find somewhere else to go i'm done caring i will never use the men's bathroom no matter what anyone says and the only people that seem to have a problem with me using the women's bathroom is turfs trans exclusionary radical feminists and turfs do not make up the whole female population. They do not make up the majority of the female population. It's a very small minority. And in my opinion, you guys should use a family restroom or use the bathroom at home, whatever, if you aren't comfortable with people like me being in there. That's just how I feel. That is a public space and it's available for any woman to use. And just because your radical politics say I'm a man or a trans identifying male, whatever you want to call it, um, I really don't care because in the eyes of the law, I'm a woman and I'm going to use that bathroom. I'm getting real tired of being told by these hateful people that I need a trans bathroom or to find a family restroom. That's not happening. I said in one of my earlier videos that I wanted a turf bathroom as a joke because of how ridiculous it sounded when you guys said people like me needed our own specific bathroom. I am a woman. I will continue to use the woman's bathroom. If you have an issue with that, find somewhere else to go because I'm done trying to find common ground with people who want it to be their way or the highway. I'm done. Yeah, this is the point we have now reached. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the state of the world. And let's be honest right now, you know, this isn't the first time we've heard someone come out with this sort of statement. And I can guarantee you, it will not be the last. Probably somebody else has posted the same video right this minute. But the world now has to accommodate to everybody's feelings and individual truths, right? Because that's all it is, an individual truth. You know, radical politics doesn't determine somebody's gender, as this person says. Science, biology does, right? And that's interesting I say that, you know, because I can guarantee you most of these people who champion this sort of message a couple of years ago now were telling everybody, hey, look, you must follow the science. If you don't follow the science, you're all simply evil. Yet when it comes to this issue, they completely ignore the science and their individual feelings, the truth, becomes the science. It's funny how it all works, isn't it? But again, you know, if women feel uncomfortable going into the restrooms and seeing men there, well, they need to find somewhere else to go. Doesn't sound very inclusive again, does it? The demand for inclusion by these communities, and it doesn't matter what progressive community it is, think of one right now, okay, just on the top of your head, it always, always comes with the side dose of exclusion. So you could really argue, is it all about inclusion in the very first place? Because once again, we clearly have somebody acting in the way of, well, if you don't agree with me, if you don't agree with us, then it's you who must be cast aside. You must find somewhere else to go. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but to me, that certainly sounds like inclusion. No. It doesn't. 
you know, the very idea of allowing men into women's restrooms as a future father certainly doesn't sit well with me, but the idea of allowing men into women's restrooms, bathrooms, locker rooms, change rooms, and even sports brings a load of safety issues, and more and more women are growing very uncomfortable. And these communities, and this person can claim it's just a minority of women who feel this way, but I completely disagree, because if that was the case, then amazing women like Riley Gaines wouldn't be getting so much attention, so much traction. They're getting all of this attention because more and more women are resonating with how she feels. More and more women are feeling more and more uncomfortable with the idea of a man one day just simply thinking to themselves, yeah, you know what, I'm a woman now, and getting the same rights and privileges, and they can walk into a woman's safe space. But even if women feel uncomfortable, right, the world just must simply deny that feeling. And they're in the wrong for feeling that way. No, 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 you can't feel that way. It's you that must make the changes. If you feel that way, you're simply in the wrong. You cannot demand women to make changes, give up their rights, their privileges because of how an individual feels. And then when they don't want to do that, cast them aside. Find another restroom. Wait, you're all TERFs, by the way. The group that doesn't like the labels certainly likes handing out the labels, don't they? You're asking women to make changes. Women, by the way, who have been women all of their lives, you're asking them to make changes for a group of people, individuals, who have been attempting to be a woman for five minutes. And I say attempting. Yeah, it's not really how it works, is it? You can't come in and just change everything because of how you feel. The vocal minority, ladies and gentlemen, You've got to love it. But moving on to Just Stop Oil. Yes, that lovely group that I can tell you now, every time they show up, whether it's in England, the UK, Europe, everybody is just filled with so much joy. The love for them that we all have is just too much to handle. Uh, they're causing a load of disruption and controversy, as usual, to simply get their message across. And what is their message? Well, everybody must stop everything right now. You watching this video, I must stop recording right now, and we must change it all. We must change how the world works. And if we don't, the world is going to perish. We're all going to die. The world is going to burn. It sounds like kids, right? Change everything now, or I'm going to cry. Ironically, a lot of the time, the people who show up to these protests are old men and women. Now, for most of you who follow me on Twitter and Instagram, I think you all know how I kind of feel about this issue to me personally. It certainly looks very similar to another crisis we all experienced a couple years ago. You know, the fear tactics, the propaganda that's being pushed in the mainstream media looks very similar. That's all I'm going to say. But to get their message across, to make sure everybody hears it, everybody notices it, they must stop mothers taking their babies to the hospital. Take a look. It really does boggle my mind, okay? After they've seen these videos go viral, okay? I can guarantee you, they still sit there and think, you know what, guys? <laughs> we're still the good guys, you know? We're causing so much positivity to be spread around the world. We're absolutely amazing. Say if that baby needed urgent medical attention and these people denied this mother taking the baby to the hospital because of what? The use of oil? You know what? I've got a great idea, okay? It's kind of convenient a plane's going over my head right now. Why don't they catch a plane all the way over to China and India, you know, the biggest polluters in the world, and protest over there. Uh, they won't. They always come out with the excuses of, you know, well, the population over there is so big, it's a lot more than it is here. Well, if the population was the same in the UK and England as it is in China and India, you would still be protesting. They just know if they went over to these countries, their antics wouldn't fly over there. We're so soft in this country. I'm pretty sure I've seen the, the same protester being arrested five times 
or so on Twitter. That's how soft the police, the law has become. Look, people deserve the right to protest, okay? Nobody's not saying that, you know, everybody deserves to go out there and voice their opinions. However, when it's becoming an inconvenience to the average person, which apparently, you know, they're standing up for the average person, but they're becoming a massive inconvenience and you're putting people's lives at risk and not on a metaphorical sense, on a literal sense, then it needs to stop. You know, I would love to know who is funding these groups, who is pumping all the money into these groups. Okay, that'd be a very interesting rabbit hole to go down, wouldn't it? I can guarantee you one of the donors is probably on a private jet right now. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? But lastly, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Aldean has not backed down from the criticism. He refuses to be cancelled over his new song, Try That in a Small Town, the music video, which has caused a load of controversy and led him to be called all the names underneath the sun. He's a massive racist. The snowflakes cried and they managed to get his music video taken down from the CMT network, the woke CMT network. But because of all of this controversy, but because of all of the backlash, the song has reached number one on the US Apple iTunes charts. Absolutely insane stuff. And, you know, it's kind of not worked out in the liberals left this favor because as I've said before, I can guarantee you this is not the outcome they had in mind. Whilst they got the video removed, they never thought, oh, his song would reach number one on the iTunes charts. Yeah, but the Daily Mail have gone on to report. Jason Aldean doubles down on controversial anti-BLM try that in a small town video and slams BS claims he has ruined America. I think uh, many other songs and music videos have had a hand in ruining America, but that's just me. I don't know about you guys. Country singer Jason Aldean has doubled down on the video for his controversial song try that in a small town and slammed the BS claims he has ruined America. Aldean 46 released the song last week and has since been receiving criticism after he interlaced clips of BLM protesters with lyrics endorsing protecting yourself with a gun. Speaking at his show in Cincinnati, Ohio on Friday night, Aldine told the crowd, I've seen a lot of stuff suggesting I am this, suggesting I am that. Here's the thing, I feel like everybody is entitled to their own opinion. You can think something all you want to, but it doesn't mean it is true. What I am is a proud American. I love our country. I want to see it restored to what it once was before all this BS started happening to us. Much to the delight of the sold out crowd at the Riverbend Music Center in the city, he continued, I love my country. I love my family and I will do anything I can to protect that. As Aldine finished, shouts of USA, USA erupted from the crowd as he triumphantly raised his hand on stage. Yeah, I mean, as we all know, you know, if you speak out against anything left-wing, liberal, you're going to end up in a lot of heat, a lot of hot water. I mean, this song doesn't speak about anything to do with race, you know, it doesn't even mention race. All it does is speak out against the left-wing liberal violence, Antifa rise, BLM rise, aggression towards law enforcement, yet it's the most racist thing on the planet. Jason Aldean wants his country, America, to be restored to how great it once was, you know, before, in his words, the BS started happening to everybody. And I think a lot of people can resonate with that. They agree with that. There's nothing wrong in wanting your country to be good and great again, is there? But according to left-wing liberals, that's absolutely hateful. That's mean. It... <laughs> What do we know? What do I know? You know, uh, here is the video nonetheless of Jason Aldean addressing the controversy and where the crowd starts chanting, USA. Take a watch. I love our country. I want to see it restored to what it once was before all this bullshit started happening to us. I love my country. I love my family. And I will do anything to protect that. I can tell you that right now. But here's what I want to say, a lot of things out there, and one thing I love, you guys know how it is this day and age, cancel culture is a thing, that's something that if people don't like what you say, they try and make sure that they can cancel you, which means try and ruin your life, ruin everything. One thing I saw this week was a bunch of country music fans that could see through a lot of the bull****, right? I saw country music fans rally like I've never seen before, and it was pretty badass to watch, I gotta say. Thank you guys so much. I mean, you know, <laughs> in the leftist attempt to cancel this man and remove the song and completely snap it out of existence, it has brought loads and loads of people together. Something they absolutely hate. You know, maybe stop focusing on country songs and actually focus on the songs you're listening to, liberals, because I can guarantee you will find a lot more wrong with the songs you're listening to. All you have to really do is look at people like Lil Nas X, Nicki Minaj, 
Cardi B. And there's a lot more wrong with that than Jason Aldean's song. It's all very hypocritical, isn't it? Degeneracy flies, but talking about BLM riots and wanting your country to be, you know, safe, great again, simply not allowed. Right. But that is the end of the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed. If you could, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. Share this video, but until tomorrow, it has been your boy JD. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'm out. Peace.